Shabbat Shalom to those watching this video. I want to discuss struggling with sin and or addiction that keeps us from the righteous path. Regardless of whatever walk in life you come from, without bias, I only hope that you choose to repent of your sins and choose to walk according to our Heavenly Father through Yahushua HaMashiach. I know how hard it is to beat an addiction, but you have to be adamant to overcome it. Instead, be encouraged that Yahushua is by your side. Hebrews 13, 5 Let your conduct be without covetousness, and be content with such things as you have. For he has said, I will never leave you, nor forsake you. Yahuwah and Yahushua love you, and much rather that you turn from your sinful lifestyle and live, rather than to see anyone perish. Acts 10, 34-35 then Kepha, or Peter, opened his mouth and said, Of a truth, I perceive that Elohim is no respecter of persons, but in every nation he that fears him and works righteousness is accepted with him. Brothers and sisters, our Heavenly Father does not view things as we do, and therefore is not a respecter of persons, but sees also into the heart. Whether you are of the nation of Yashara or a Gentile, our Heavenly Father accepts those who fear Him and keeps His statutes and commandments. Yeshayahu or Isaiah 1.4 Come now, let us reason together, says Yehua. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they are red like crimson, they shall be as wool. I know struggling with sin or addiction is tough, but through prayer and fasting we can overcome them. Whether your addiction or sin is getting drunk, getting high, sex, masturbation, we have to practice self-control. If you know you don't handle liquor well, choose not to drink. If you know at a party people are going to get high, choose not to put yourself in that environment. If you lack sexual discipline, don't continue to watch porn or movies or music with sexual influences. Sex in itself is not bad but in the proper context, is meant to be special and feel good within the realms of marriage. In making an effort to overcome these things, we have to remove all influences that provoke us to commit that particular action. You can't give any leeway to your sin or addiction. You have to nip it in the bud and keep all influences away to remain strong. You have to remove anything that entices you whether friends or family or even your spouse. Remove yourself from those types of people if their influence is bad. 1 Corinthians 15, 33. Be not deceived. Evil companions corrupt good morals. For those of you hearing this, brothers and sisters, I encourage you to be strong. Overcome and allow Yahuwah and Yahusha to come into your life and to choose the good and not the things of the world. There is a war going on between good and evil. Yahushua says this, Come and accept me, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, that I wish for you all to join me and my Father in heaven and experience bliss of love, happiness, and joy. While the adversary wishes to tear us from that, he says, no, continue to kill, continue to lust, get drunk, get high, indulge in the desires of the flesh. Know for certain that these things will all lead you to hell. But through Yahushua HaMashiach, we can overcome them. Yohanan or John 16, 33. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me you might have peace. In the world you shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. 1 Johannine or John 4.4 4. You are of Elohim, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. I hope this reaches you in your time of need, that you are encouraged to continue to fight the good fight for your 
salvation. All praise, honor, and glory be unto our Heavenly Father, Yahuwah, and to His only brought forth Son, Yahushua HaMashiach. To you and yours, Shabbat Shalom.